Welcome to Electron Lime. In this video, we're not going to talk about anything specific about mercury, but simply show you the topics that we're going to cover. And the reason why we're doing this slide right here, or this video right here, I should say, they're not slides, they're videos, is because that's the general range of topics we're going to be covering about each planet. Now, there's going to be some specifics, of course, like here we're going to talk about specific satellites that we send to Mercury to observe the planet, which, of course, not the same ones that we send to other planets. And, of course, we don't have any moons on Mercury. There's no moons at all, and others do have moons. But the general top topology, the general topics that we're going to talk about about Mercury is going to be roughly the same for all planets in that same order. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to first look at size comparison between Mercury and the rest of the planets of the solar systems and some of the moons. We're going to take a look at the surface, the coloration of the planet, the craters, the topography, and so forth. We're also going to talk about any significant features. Every planet seems to have a few things about them that are so unique that we definitely want to cover and talk about in a little bit more detail. The volcanology. Is there still volcanic activity? Was there in the past? Is there today? So we'll talk about that. The geology, the structure, the kind of minerals that we're going to find on the planet. The surface ice. Some planets do have ice on the surface. Does Mercury have surface ice? Well, we're going to find out. The orbit itself. So we're going to take a talk again in a little bit more detail about the orbit of the planet, the rotation of the planet itself, and in this case also the spin orbit resonance. That will not be a topic for all planets, but in this case we do have that. There may be a topic like this about the planet and the moons, but we'll talk about that later as well. Uh, we also will talk about what it's like to be on the planet itself. So we're going to kind of imagine that we actually land on the surface with a spacecraft. We get out, we walk around, we see what it's like, we see what the, the sun looks like, that kind of thing. It's really interesting to talk about it that way. We're going to talk about the solar radiation on Mercury. Of course, that's very important because we are so close to the sun. The sun will look a lot bigger. It'll deposit a whole lot more energy per unit time on the surface and what it does to the surface. The precession of the orbit, an interesting thing about Mercury is that the orientation of the orbit switches or changes over time. That's called the precession of the orbit. And then we noticed when we started measuring that precession accurately, there seems to be a difference between what it's actually doing and what theoretically we're expecting it to do. And then we discovered through Einstein that it's actually an effect of relativity, and we'll talk about that as well. Then we're going to talk about the interior of the planet, what's the interior structure look like and what is contained within it. We're going to talk about more detail about the magnetic field, the gravity on the surface of the planet, the atmosphere of the planet, and what it's like to observe the planet from the Earth. And in Mercury, that's particularly challenging. We'll learn about why that is so. We'll talk about the satellites that visited the planet and in general, what it takes to get there, because it's not as easy to send a satellite to, to Mercury, and we'll talk about why. And then we'll talk about the specific things that the two satellites, satellites that we did send, Mariner 10 and the Messenger satellite, what they were built to do, how they were built to get there and take pictures and so forth, the measurements, and what they actually accomplished. And then, of course, in the case of Mercury, there are no moons. We won't talk about the moons of Mercury because there aren't any. But in other planets, we'll definitely want to cover that topic as well. And in some cases, that's quite an interesting topic and may take quite a few videos because there's a lot of moons on some of our planets. But anyway, that's the general structure of how we're going to cover it. In some cases, not all the topics will be there. In some cases, there may be more satellites that we want to talk about, like in the case of Mars, where we did a lot of exploration and so forth. There it is, that's what's expected, that's what we can expect, and uh, we'll start on the size comparison on our very next video.